Hello, everybody, and welcome to Into the Flames. This is a new firefighting simulator game that uh, is being developed, uh, and you can get it on itch.io. I'll have a link for it in the description below if you want to check it out. Also, uh, there was an awesome Q&A session with the developer on the Northern Alex's channel, and I'll have that linked in the description below as well, and you can check it out and uh, see what the future of this game uh, holds. So here we are on the main menu. You can see in settings, uh, we can change our controls, graphics settings. I've got the very high FOV at 90 and so on and so forth. Uh, resolutions in 1440p. Of course, I have to downscale to 1080p, so YouTube will take it. Uh, Audio-wise, I turn the music all the way down. Everything's there. You have customization uh, coming soon. I don't know what that means, um, but uh, regardless, you have online and offline modes already here in this version, which you're on 0.82 at the bottom right, you can see. Uh, we'll hit offline today, and you get two maps uh, to select. You have the house fire, uh, and then you have a warehouse uh, one, underscore one. So fantastic. We're going to start off with the house fire and see what that's all about first. Let's go ahead and hit start. And of course, I'm going to keep this in real time. So you see, bam, you are in the game. Uh, we should have a fire loading into the house soon. Uh, or maybe not. No fire today. We might have to restart it. Okay, we have a fire now uh, starting in the entire house here, and uh, that's fantastic. That's, well, I mean, not fantastic for the people that own the house, but uh, fantastic for us. We can get uh, started here. So you can use either of these uh, pumper trucks here. You can't drive trucks as of right now, but you will be able to in the future. Let's go ahead and grab a hose here, and we're going to attach it right there. Uh, we need to get this guy out, so we're going to go over to the pumper options and uh, get the halogen tool. Halogen, not halogen, the hydrant tool, that'll work. Uh, and then we're going to click that guy on. So now we have uh, a line running into the truck. So we'll put that back. Uh, and we can go to the back and just grab an attack line as you see fit. Now, we need to make sure we can get into the house first. Um, and if the house is actually locked, we'll have to force entry into it, which is fine. Uh, this is the time I'm going to let you guys know that I am not a firefighter. So, okay, it's locked. Uh, not a firefighter, so I'm going to be doing things wrong, but for those of you that are firefighters, and I know a lot of you guys watch these uh, videos, you might be really excited about what is uh, coming uh, for this. Let's get this guy out, and we'll run over here. Uh, I believe this is actually the halogen tool, uh, and we are going to try to make entry into here. We hit the, the M key, because you see him first right here, if you can see him, he's looking away from us, but... He doesn't have a mask on. Hit M. Now we have our SCBA on. Awesome. Let's go ahead and uh, hit that guy. There we go. Make entry into the building, into the house. Wow, it is a rager. So there you go. Uh, you can't sprint. You can only just run as of right now. But I've got to say something. Uh, this is optimized very well at the stage it's at uh, currently, which is actually pretty impressive. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start attacking. We could probably um, move to... I have an idea. Let's go ahead and get to this guy, and we'll get a ladder out. We're going to get a ladder set up on the side so we can make uh, make our way onto the roof, and we can ventilate this fire. We can see more when we do that. Uh, I'm going to set it up over here so we're not like on top of a fire, essentially. So, boom. There we go. We've got that. Let's go ahead and uh, grab our saw. Remember, you can use either truck you want here. So there's a big uh, a big deal uh, when it comes to this, uh, and that is the developer decided he wanted to make the game first before uh, anything else. So it's pretty cool. Uh, what I mean by that is, okay, we're stuck in this. Can I get out of that? Nope. Okay, I think what I did last time, I didn't lock it. You have to uh, left-click and lock your ladder into place before you can get a tool up there. So I think that was our issue. However, what I was talking about was that uh, he got all the game mechanics done before anything else. So basically built the entire uh, game from the ground up, kind of opposite to how a lot of guys do it. They usually, you know, make something and then they'll uh, they'll do it later on. Whoa, hello. Uh, we need to, there's our yellow square. Let's see if we can go ahead and cut into the roof. There we go. That one's ventilated. And uh, I think we can do it right over here. We'll do that as well. All right. We don't know if there's any victims in here or not. And now I know we probably are overventilating. 
but I did want to show you uh, the mechanics of the game. And this is a pretty big house fire, let's be honest. Probably way overboard for this. Let's see. There we go. Let's try not to fall down in there. Uh, and we will go down this way on the ladder. Well, if we can get on the ladder, that is the question. Now, I've, I've had it to where I couldn't get on the ladder before, and then if you fall to your death, you fall to your death. What are you going to do? Kind of, oh, we're, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Nice. Oh, man. He is fast on that, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay, so let's actually do some firefighting and have some fun here, shall we? Uh, we'll just grab it from here since we've already got that one hooked up. Now, eventually, you're going to be able to uh, drive the trucks. You're going to be able to do a lot more. Um, but, you know, for what we have right now, can't complain. I'm take my, turn my mask back on. We need SCBA for this. Uh, and we're going to go into the flames. Literally. Uh, you can hold V and you go to first person view if you would like. Uh, and there we go. We got our water going here. Try to get rid of these flames right out of the right in front of us here. There we go. Uh, and then you can hold V and get out of that view there. Um, try to be careful with our health here. Somebody's Louis Vuitton is going up in smoke. I'll tell you that. All right, we'll get back to this view. Wow, it's very loud for me. I know it's not for you, but because I'll have that fixed in post. But man, very loud for me. All right. Try to chase this sucker back. There we go, buddy. Now we're pushing that fire back. But as you can see, it'd be a lot more fun to have another person, uh, which I plan on doing with uh, the Northern Alex before too long. Uh, my voice may sound a little scratchy and weird. Uh, managed to get sick. Actually, I'm very lucky. Mine is not so bad. Nicole's been going through absolute hell uh, with hers. And, uh, of course, right before we move is whenever we're dealing with this. <laughs> getting sick and all that all right now we're moving that fire back this is going to take some time but one thing that's really cool is if the fire touches the hose you see how it changes the color of it really neat uh and every fire isn't the same so it randomizes completely how it affects the structure every time it uh loads in so you could have the same fire over and over again, but you might have to attack it differently. And, you know, since we have only have uh, two maps right now, it's nice that you can change it up. However, we're going to follow the progress of this game as it comes along here. All right, let's get that. Charging back towards there, and it's helping out quite a bit. One thing that you're noticing immediately is that the hose physics just work. Um, they're not all freaked out and, and having issues and causing major frame rate lagging problems that we've had with other games. And the reason why I don't play those other games uh, that are firefighting is because of that reason. So this one's running about as smooth as, uh, you know, flashing lights. Now here's the difference. This is uh, only going to be firefighting only. So the guy's very uh, well-versed in firefighting, and uh, he wants to, to make it a cross between a simulation and an arcade kind of deal, but more so on the lines of simulation. Uh, so those people that like firefighting are really, really going to be in for a treat here. Okay, we're pushing that fire all the way back to there. That's working out pretty good for us. And you don't have to hold the the click for the the water. You only click it once to open, and then once it's open, then you're good to go there. All right, let's try to actually get rid of this fire, man. Sitting here daily dallying. We're not going back and forth enough to get it out. The kitchen is about toast. All right, that's going back. Then we have to go upstairs into the next floor, and that's going to be a whole nother enchilada to eat. I like the uh, the fire texture in uh, animation. It looks very nice. Something different. Yeah, there's something in the wall right there. Then we're going to have to enter the... We're going to have to use the saw again and cut into the garage. So let's go ahead and do that. I just want to push this back further first, but I don't want to get, you know, 
get it to where we get to the stairs and then we're getting eaten alive by flames. That wouldn't be very good. All right. I'm going to kill that. Let's go ahead and go back outside. And uh, we're going to do that next. We're just going to open up that garage because that is definitely feeding the fire and feeding the flames. Okay. You go there. Um, we can grab, grab you again. Where are you at? Right there. There we go. And we'll open that up. Because it's burning in the second floor pretty bad. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. I got a little too close to it, but that's all right. There it goes. All right. Awesome. Then again, we can use this if we'd like. Um, but we're not going to use their hose because we don't have it hooked up to the hydrant as of right now. Okay. Grab you again. Let's go back to work. We're going to start pushing this fire back up to uh, upstairs, and we'll see some more mechanics. But I'm going to take care of this real fast uh, in the meantime, and uh, I'll see you guys upstairs. And pushing the flames back is actually quite a challenge. Uh, don't get back onto the car again. I just had, had just gotten it out from being underneath that car. Somebody lost a skateboard in this, which is the real tragedy here. Uh, pushing up the stairs. Come on. Get those flames back. And you notice we do have a uh, oxygen meter on here, too. There we go. Closer to that. Wow, man. We are absolutely just covered in flames right now. They're everywhere. Try to push that back. There we go. That's working. Can't come back out of that view there. Let's see this. Ah, you can't really see when you're in close quarters like this. All right, we're going to keep pushing this fire back. So don't be an idiot like me and hit the M key accidentally. Uh, you suffocate pretty fast. As you can see, we lost our health rapidly when that happened. Man, that's in that wall completely. We might be able to cut this on this side. Let's go in the other room. Um, yep, right here. Push these flames back. Get back. Get back. There we go. This room right here is just absolutely raging. I'm going to try clearing more of these rooms out here. All right, we got it out in these rooms up here. We have one more room over here to the right that's still going. Uh, and I think we're going to have to pop those uh, roofs open or the ceiling there uh, to expose the fire. And keep pushing this one back, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. But, man, wow, that's a lot of fire in this room. It's like the master bedroom. Yeah, this was the master bedroom. You can see the bed is completely burned to hell. Let me see a thing here. This has been a this has been a tough fire to, to battle here, to be honest with you. But yeah, so with these ceilings, you can see there's fire in the roof there. I'm gonna have to go uh, knock that open. Uh, maybe that then the ventilation will help us be able to see a little bit better. But I want to make sure that this is uh, good to go before we do that. I want to open that whole floor above us and then have it come crashing down on top of us. That wouldn't be good. All right. Yep, it's definitely in the ceiling. Definitely in the ceiling. Okay, well, we're going to go uh, back out to the truck, and we're going to get a different tool for that. Man, yeah, look at the smoke in there. Pretty crazy. All right, we're outside. Take our mask off. Enjoy some uh, fresh air for a second here, man. Let's put this back where we got it. Okay, there you go. Uh, we need a different tool down here. I don't know what this thing's called, but it's a big, long pokey stick. A big, long pokey stick. Uh, yeah, you can see the, the flames are still up in something there. But I like the, uh, oh, mask, mask, almost died. Didn't think about it. You should just leave your SCBA on the entire time. But we almost died. Almost died. All right, what do we got up here? We got something happening here. Oh, my heavens. Yep, there's a whole fire happening up there. How cool is that? You can just knock the ceiling out. There we go. Expose the flames. And uh, it sh now we should be able to be get those, uh, you know, those holes that we ventilated before. Let's just clear the whole thing out. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. I don't see any on this side. Is there any fire up here? I mean, we might as well check, you know. Uh, looks like it's clear over here. Um, what about up here? Anything over here hiding? And just a lot of smoke. Uh, doesn't look like any fire. Looks like the flames are just contained over there. So let's go ahead and grab the hose and try not to kill ourselves in the process. But yeah, as you can see, that uh, health bar depletes really, really fast. 
really fast. All right, buddy. Where's it at? Up there. Let's knock this fire out. Let's just see what I'm doing here. There we go. Is that it? I, there's still smoke somewhere. I don't think that's it. And there's still light coming from some... There's a source of light. Hmm. Not sure where it's at. But I don't hear any roaring flames or anything. It's just the light outside is what it is. Okay. I think we successfully put this one out. I mean, we'll check the roof again, but... I don't hear any roaring of the flames, so that's good. And uh, I don't think it prompts you to tell you that you finished, but we'll see. Maybe we need to ventilate some more. We'll uh, we'll go back up to the roof and see what that's all about. All right, it won't let me cut any more holes, so I don't know what that's about. Uh, but I'm assuming that's what the issue is. It just needs to be ventilated because uh, all the smoke's still lingering around. But, I mean, we've cut quite a few off in... And it uh, seems to be okay from there. Let's get back onto the ladder and down we go. Uh, we try knocking out the rest of the ceiling. I mean, the house is pretty much trashed as it is, so let's try that. All right, we've knocked out the entire upstairs ceiling. I don't see anything. I see some light source happening there. I'm not sure what that is, but there's still smoke in the house uh, no matter where I look. So we're going to try the fan and see if that helps that get out. I think it's the sun, honestly, just bleeding through the walls. I do believe that that is what we're dealing with. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. There we go. And uh, you, let's get a fan out. Let's see if we can blow the smoke out. Uh, I'm not sure where we're supposed to put it, but we'll see, won't we? Oh, there it is right there. This is an option right here. There we go. All right, pull that smoke out. And that's exactly all we needed. That is all we need to take that mask off, get some fresh air. There we go. Well, we got the house fire out. That's the good news. Just needed to fan out those, uh, the rest of that smoke, and that worked out for us. Put this thing away. We'll uh, do some little uh, cleanup chores here, and then we'll be done with it. Uh, let's see. Nope. <laughs> Didn't want that, but all right. Um, put you away. We can go ahead and grab that uh, hydrant tool and turn that off. Uh, and just basic basic housekeeping. Uh, basic housekeeping here. Very cool, though. I really uh, have enjoyed this one, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's put this back where we got it. And there we go. Can we grab you off of there? Yes, we can. We'll put you back where it came from. Perfect. All right, so that's good. All we have left is just the uh, fan. And uh, now we can really survey the damage. Because there's no smoke, which shouldn't kill us in before it does, but uh, pretty destroyed. I mean, we had to knock out the whole ceiling for, well, we didn't have to, but we ended up doing it. They're going to have to replace it anyway, so who cares? There you go. But pretty darn cool, man, to have a firefighting uh, sim like this, and I'm really excited to see where it goes uh, when we're going to be able to drive the vehicles themselves and all sorts of that stuff. Grab you put you back and uh, we're gonna call that fire clear man uh, they lost quite a bit they did lose quite a bit when it came to that but uh you know what what are you gonna do what you gonna do well folks that's gonna do it for the first look at into the flames let me know if you want to see more of this below uh, we will check out the warehouse fire until then i'll see you next time take care